A survey indicates that companies in the local area pay an average of $25 an hour with a standard deviation of $2. What proportion of the population falls between a pay of $20 an hour and $30 an hour? Note that the mean is $25 and the standard deviation is $2. We're given a lower boundary of $20 and an upper boundary of $30. Our goal is to find the proportion of the population that would fall inside this boundary. To answer this question, we need to know how many standard deviations 20 is away from the mean, or how many standard deviations 30 is away from the mean. Notice that 20 is below the mean of 25. In other words, 25 minus how many standard deviations equals 20. Likewise, 30 is above the mean of 25. In other words, 25 plus how many standard deviations equals 30. We already know the standard deviation is 2, so for the lower boundary, we can write 25 minus 2 times k equals 20. To solve for k, first, Subtract 25 on both sides, and we get negative 2 times k equals negative 5. Now, divide both sides by negative 2, and we get k equals 2.5. Likewise, k is also 2.5 for the upper boundary. Since k equals 2.5, we know that both the lower boundary of $20 and the upper boundary of $30 is within 2.5 standard deviations away from the mean. However, we cannot use the empirical rule to find a proportion since we do not know if the distribution is normal. We will have to use Chebyshev's theorem instead. Chebyshev's theorem says that the proportion of the population within k standard deviations of the mean is at least 1 minus 1 over k square. Since k equals 2.5 in this situation, Plug in 2.5 for k, then use the calculator to evaluate, and the answer is 0 0.84. In other words, at least 84% of companies in the local area pay between $20 an hour and $30 an hour. Find the minimum pay and the maximum pay that would contain the middle 75% of the population. Again, we cannot use the empirical rule in this situation, but we can use Chebyshev's theorem to find the lower boundary and the upper boundary that would cut off 75% of the population around the mean. Chebyshev's theorem says that the proportion of the population within k standard deviations of the mean is at least 1 minus 1 over k squared. Do some algebra to move things around, and we can write this formula as k equals the square root of 1 over 1 minus p. Since the proportion we're cutting off around the mean is 75%, which is 0 0.75, plug in 0 0.75 for p, then use our calculator to evaluate, and the answer is 2. By Chebyshev's theorem, two standard deviations around the mean would contain at least 75% of the population. In other words, the lower bound is two standard deviations below the mean, and the upper bound is two standard deviations above the mean. We already know the standard deviation is $2. So, for the lower bound, we have 25 
minus 2 times 2, which is 21. Likewise, the upper bound is 29. To recap, at least 75% of companies in the local area pay between $21 an hour and $29 an hour.